I feel the need, the need for really slow more speed. Well, in case you're wondering what this video is about, obviously it's about CW and it's about a slow morse net that operates in Australia. If you're a ham from overseas, this might give you an idea about a way that you might be able to encourage your local hands to get involved with CW. You may have a system or a net that's similar to this. If you have, drop it in the comments below. I'd be very interested to know. A lot of the guys that are using this service in Australia, even if they're in states that are a long way away, I mean, Australia is a huge country. It's, you know, many times the size of um, many European nations. So if they can't hear what's going on in 80 meters, say they're in VK6 and there's a lot of VK2 stations, quite a few people get on SDR online radios and try and find an SDR that's in the middle. So to all those people that have Kiwi SDR radios that they provide access to, I would just like to say we salute you because you do provide a fantastic service. I'm going to try and get a hold of a Kiwi SDR and set up a receive antenna and try and provide a station that can be listened to because I think it's a fantastic service. Uh, it adds interest to the hobby and uh, some people think it's cheating. I'm not a contester, so I just like the fact that sometimes if you're in the middle of a QSO and the band starts to die, there's ways of continuing on and, and getting the uh, QSO to happen. Maybe comment below and tell me what you think of um, online SDRs. Anyway, let's get on with the video. This is Mark of VK2KI who organizes the uh, QRS net. And uh, I finally got some time to get up and uh, it's school holidays. And I just worked Claude VK1TE in his mobile station. And we had a lovely QRS contact. And I'm now listening to Mark working this station. This station is in uh, Victoria somewhere. BK3, K, O. So there you have it, folks. If you don't think your CW is good enough and you're shy about getting on the bands, Tuesday nights, I will put the uh, frequencies and the times in the uh, text below here because I can't remember because I have a brain that doesn't work. And you can crank out whatever speed you want and the person will answer at that speed. And uh, you can ask them to QRS as well if you need to. And you don't need to worry about missing stuff as well. Say, sorry, I didn't get that. Or if it's too hard, just go on to the next thing. Like you do when you're at a party and you haven't quite heard what the other person has said. Just laugh and get on with it. Um, Mark has got a great uh, initiative going here. He's also got a fantastic newsletter. So get yourself on the newsletter and um, get yourself on the band and introduce yourself. And it'll be a great way of improving your CW and getting CW out there because that's what we want to do. We want to get it out there and you can practice here. You can help other people practice as well. And then when you're more confident, 
by all means, keep turning up here to help other people, but then you can head off and um, send it 100 miles an hour if you get good enough. Thank you for sticking around right to the end of the video. It has been a stinking hot day here in Sydney. Even now, as we get close to 8 p.m., it's still in the, it feels like it's still in the 30s. Very, very humid. I am just dripping in perspiration. Uh, if you can hear the fan in the background, terribly sorry, but I need to have it running just so I can breathe in this room. I've had a great day in the shack despite the hot weather. and I've been on a hot tin roof playing with antennas. So that will be the next video. I know antenna videos are very popular. And after a lot of struggling, I had, I think, some success. I don't know how well the antenna works yet, but uh, we've got a good SWR on it and uh, it seems to be behaving itself. So that will be in the next video coming up. So keep an eye out for it. And if you haven't already hit the uh, bell notification or the like and subscribe, please do so. And I will see you in the next episode of The Art of Engineering. 7-3.